Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and this is the second episode for today. Uh, there is a Muslim, he is complaining and he said that he wanted to refute me but uh, looked like the admins, they blocked him. I didn't know what he did. But you know what, just to show that we don't really block people, it's Islam who block. And this is why we as a Christians, we cannot have a voice in the Middle East. And this is why, who in the Middle East even can talk? Look what this guy is saying. CP is a scammer, liar, manipulator. He muted me in the live stream at 39.50. Sahih Muslim 1406 easily refute that claim. When he was misinforming uh, an, an invalid justification from the hadith you can read the bit you know that the rest of it and just to show you how Muslims they help us to get their profit busted this guy he said in the minute 3950 he wanted to refute me about what in the minute 3950 I was talking about the Prophet of Islam saying to Muslim men you can have a woman for a night stand to have sex with her. This is <clears throat> uh, the hadith which we are talking about. So this guy, he wanted to show me the hadith he mentioned to refute me. Okay, so this is the hadith where Muhammad saying any Muslim man, any Muslim woman, they want to have sex for fun for three days, three nights. Don't worry be happy enjoy it and you see here in the translation the false translated saying marry the word the word marriage does not exist in the hadith it says not even a single word it says married or to marry that is a false translation and those who speak Arabic from the Abdul, they knew I am telling the truth. So what Muhammad saying, if you want to live together for three days, three nights, without marriage, have fun. In the other word, have <laughs> their word to each other. And if you like to increase, increase. Islam is a very hippie religion. In the translation, the Muslims, they said, and I will show you the translation, which as we said the added words is not there here they put between two bracket if a man and a woman agree bracket to marry temporarily what temporarily <laughs> how how you marry temporarily so this is something they added to tell you this is not really marriage this is about sex you are horny you want to hire a woman to take off her panty so you do this then they added here the word marriage again, but again in the hadith it doesn't say that. They are living together, not their marriage, you liar, should last for three nights, three days. But if they like to continue, they can continue. If they like to separate, they can separate. All right. This is what it's called muta. What muta is? Muta is having sex with contract of money. Muta in Arabic mean sexual pleasure it can be other pleasure too but here it's about sexual pleasure so now let us show you the hadith which the guy the muslim he wanted to get me busted and sadly somebody gave him uh, muted him and this is not fair okay so we decided to go and see the hadith he spoke about and put it in the screen and you'll be the judge and try not to laugh at the stupidity of this idiot who is not only helping me to get his prophet busted, but he is proven to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. This is the hadith he mentioned. <clears throat> 104, 1406. All right. The hadith saying that the prophet said, the prophet said, any one of you who have women, who have a woman, uh, who contracted with her for muta 
<laughs> let her go <laughs> and this is supposedly will refute me i mean how this will refute me you just admitted that you're a prophet allowed men to have sex with women without marrying them in return of money and now you are saying to me that your prophet said to the, the men those who have women for sex let them go okay is that will make your prophet a good man he is the one who allow it and now he you are saying to me he changes mind but that will not change the fact that he allow it and that will not change the fact that the muslim practice it and that will not change the fact that islam allow hiring women for sex and that will not change the fact that muhammad must be a false prophet because who is the one who allow you to have it first time allah chapter 4 verse 24 this is why you see there's many islamic sect they don't believe that this is they don't believe in this hadith here they say well the quran never have a verse says this is abrogated there's no abrogation in the quran for muta and this is why you see your muslim scholars confirm that this is nothing but rental so you wanted to refute me in in which way all muslims agree that this is a rental for women for the purpose of sex and you are getting me a hadith saying that the prophet later he changed his mind but this is quran how muhammad he can change his mind is he god This is your Islamic website, not mine. The four pillars of muta. What muta? Sexual pleasure. Contract. And what is the proof of it? Chapter 4, verse number 24. Those women you sleep with them, give them their wages. Okay, nice. All right. Then we continue. Then they explain to you what the word nikah mean. The word nikah mean to have the F word. That is a sexual intercourse. And then they explain to you that the prophet he allow by Allah order a Muslim man to hire a rental women rented women do you see this is not my words rented women so you are telling me you are giving me a hadith okay the prophet he allowed Muslim men to rent women but later he told them let, let them go so <laughs> I mean, what kind of a prophet this prophet is? Are you saying to me that Muhammad, he uh, he noticed that he is making a big poo-poo and he decided to change his mind? If Allah said to him in the Quran, do muta, are you saying to me that Allah, he made muta aloud and then Allah, he found that he is wrong? So how you wanna how you want to refute me by the hadith you quote for me? You are an idiot, but I will help you. Seriously, I'm trying to help you. I will show you why your Muhammad, he changed his mind. People, they start making fun of him. They said, look at this guy. He claimed to be a prophet. And specifically the Christians and the Jews. Specifically the Jews who they are around him. He is allowed in his men to have sex around without marriage for money. So Muhammad, he said to himself, so, uh oh, I got busted. So he changed his mind and Muhammad always he do that. This is not the first time Muhammad he come with the law and then when people they start making fun of his stupid law He changed his law sometime in less than 24 hours and I will give you the proof of that This is Tafsir Al-Jalalain Tafsir who? Al-Jalalain Is a jalalain is a Christian? No. Is he a Hindu? No. Is he is a Buddha? No. He's a big Muslim scholar in Islam Look what he said. When the disbelievers began to bride, the matter of abrogation saying that one day Muhammad enjoins his companions to one thing and then the second, the next day, he forbid it. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet like this? Today I allow you to do something, tomorrow I forbid you from doing it. And it can be vice versa, by the way. It can be today I forbid you from doing this, tomorrow I allow you to do this. So how God, he changed his mind so fast, overnight? So when people, they make fun 
as you see here in the in the story the arab they are making fun of the quran the muslim they say to us the arab they were amazed of the quran the arab they were making fun they cannot believe it how silly how stupid this prophet is look at this this guy he make a law he order his men to follow it in the morning second day he wake up he says don't do it no more so what do you want more to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet? And not only that, Muhammad, in order to cover his uh, his, his 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 madness, he come with a verse. As we see, this is chapter two, verse one o six, where it says that whatever verses we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, Allah will bring something better or similar. So look how smart Muhammad claiming that Allah answering those people. Look, look, read me carefully. When they say that this man, Muhammad, he, he make, he enjoy his men one thing, and the second day he forbid it, uh, God revealed, and whatever verse, you know, conditional particle has been revealed, containing a judgment we abrogate either together or... Blah, 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 blah. So this is was a response. What is the response? Read the response and die laughing. Allah supposedly speaking to those who they are making fun of the prophet who changed the law of God overnight. Nothing we abrogate of our revelation or do uh, uh, abrogate or cause to be forgotten. What? Cause to be forgotten. Allah caused the verses to be forgotten. Muhammad, he forgot his orders. He says something. Then he ordered them to do something else. Totally the opposite. And how he can cover himself, he says, I forgot. Muhammad, he cannot recite the same verse twice correctly. So he claimed that Allah, he gave him the Quran in seven dialect. Seven dialect. Why? And how the Arab today they are in this how how Zakir Naik he understand the Quran if the Arab in the time of Muhammad and they are Arab, they cannot understand the Quran unless it is in seven dialect. The reason Muhammad he came with this story that Allah gave him the Quran in seven dialect because he cannot recite the Quran twice, as he said yesterday. So he have to give an excuse. So he said, Okay, Allah caused it to be forgotten. What I can do? If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. And try not to laugh. The only prophet, I mean, why Allah did not give uh, uh, Moses the Torah in seven dialect? <laughs> huh? Why? Why? There is many tribes. There, the Jews are many tribes. Why? 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 What is this? So Jibril came to Muhammad and he told him, Allah, He gave you the Quran to recite in one dialect. Muhammad, he said to Jibril. I big big Allah burden. Forgive my community. They are not capable of doing it. Read with me. I'm not making things up. Here we go. This is a Sahih Hadith. Jibreel came to Muhammad and said, Allah has commanded you to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect. Upon this, he said, I ask Allah burden and forgiveness. My people are not capable of doing it. He then came for a second time, who Jibreel, and said, Allah commanded you to recite the Quran in, uh, to, in two dialect. <laughs> Upon this, the Holy Prophet, Holy, okay, he, they made him holy now. Again, he said, I seek pardon of forgiveness. Allah, uh, my people are uh, not able to do so. Like what? Jibreel came for the third time, and etc., 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 until it became seven times. So Muhammad is saying it clearly in one dialect, my people are not capable. This is here in a in a perfect match with Muhammad the liar. Because how Muhammad is correcting Allah, Allah he sent you the Quran in one dialect. Look, read with me. Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran in one dialect. Okay. The Muslim, they say to us, if Allah wants something to be, he say be, and it's going to be. So why Allah, he orders something, and Muhammad, he wants something else? And how come Allah agree with Muhammad? And how come Allah can be wrong, and Muhammad correcting Allah? 
Allah, he sent the saint, they said, okay, do it in two dialects. Muhammad, he didn't agree. No way. Are you crazy? My people are not capable. The angel, he came back and he says, okay, Allah, he make you, allow you to have it in three dialects. <laughs> oh boy so here you notice with me that Muhammad in order to cover his lies because he cannot repeat the same verses twice so he claimed that Allah he gave him the Quran in seven ways so if you hear me yesterday saying something and today I'm saying something else don't accuse me of being a liar it what happened that Allah he gave me the Quran in seven ways but why Allah want to give the Quran in seven ways for a small little town what for what the purpose and why Allah want to cause you Muhammad to forget the Quran and why he gave you the Quran and yet he wanted to forget the Quran because Muhammad he want to cover his ass why I forget in the Quran why I cannot recite the Quran correctly so he claimed any of our revelation Allah he abrogated or caused to be forgotten so he confirmed that Allah caused him to forget the Quran and he confirmed confirm that Allah abrogated the Quran but where is the abrogation for the muta if the one who abrogated the verses is Allah shouldn't Allah send the verse says okay don't do muta no more nowhere it says that not only that actually we find in the hadith that uh, Muslims after the caliphate after Muhammad still they practice muta read with me carefully this is Sahih Muslim the same book that this Abdul he asked me to read it from the same exact book which means this is Sahih Hadith he cannot say to me this is Sahih Muslim actually it's in the same page he asked me to read Hadith 1406 this is 1405 isn't it amazing look what it says it's reported hmm, <clears throat> that we did benefit ourselves by muta by having sex with women for money uh, during the lifetime of the Prophet which means all the lifetime of the Prophet not sometime and during the lifetime of Abu Bakr and during the lifetime of Omar so muta was practiced long after Muhammad death so what you are saying is refuting me is it proven to us to Islam to be a false stupid cult because how one verse saying to us or one hadith the hadith you gave me saying that the Prophet said uh, anyone who have women let them go but I will explain to you what happened Muhammad after he forbid the muta he allowed it again <laughs> Let me get you the reference. <laughs> uh, <coughs> All right, hold on. <coughs> Have you ever heard of a crazy prophet like this? He allow it. He forbid it. He allow it. He forbid it. He allow it. He forbid it. It's a joke. It is a joke. Let me find you the reference. I don't like to say something without giving proofs, as you know. As you know. All right. Uh, I cannot find this one in English, but let us see. Yeah, those are very sensitive to be translated, but we will find it, don't worry.
Okay, we found it in Arabic, but it's okay. I mean, I, I'm trying to find it in English, but uh, we will use Google Translation to translate. No problem. All right. This is islamweb.net. They are talking about the forbidden, the forbidden muta, which is renting women for sex. All right. Now you will see where it says. Let me show you first in Arabic before we translate in English. Oh, it's switching to uh, to English right away because we chose translation. All right. We will be careful, you guys. The correct choice that the forbidden the forbidden of the principality of the pleasure were two time and the pleasure was varied before Khaybar invasion then it was forbidden in the day of Khaybar and then in the day of the conquest of Mecca and then translation is not really good so Muhammad he allow it before Khaybar then he forbidden it after Khaybar and then he allow it after Khaybar <laughs> and then he forbid it after Mecca I mean this guy is obviously is making fun Allow it, forbid it, allow it, forbid it, allow it, forbid it. But there is nowhere in the Quran it says that the muta is forbidden. The same book of hadith you gave me saying that it was forbidden, or you, you said to me that the Prophet said, let them go. It is the same book saying that we enjoy temporarily uh, uh, sex even all during the lifetime of Muhammad and after that during the lifetime of Abu Bakr and then after that during the lifetime of Abu uh, of Umar so we have a three two caliphate and and, and Muhammad and the Muslim is still practicing muta so what we learn from this that a prophet of God he cannot be a prophet of God by changing his mind and the law of God especially in, in something very sensitive like this if muta is 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 adultery and actually even the muslim sunni today they agree that muta is nothing but prostitution and they attack the shia they say the shia they are doing prostitution because they do muta but as long as you agree it's prostitution just to show you how stupid what they are saying you just admitted that your prophet he allow prostitution and then you say oh he forbid it but we showed you he forbid it he allow it he forbid it he allow it he forbid it he allow it and there is nowhere actually in the whole quran I, I, I change any Muslim. Who is a Muslim? Want to show me a verse in the Quran that says, "Don't do muta." Who is a Muslim? Can you show me where in the Quran we can find a verse against the chapter four, verse twenty-four, where it says you can have, you can hire a rental woman for sex, as you see here, and this is your Muslim scholar interpretation. And look, the Muslims here. They are giving us definition of what the prophet was practicing. They said, in some work, special term is applied to women who uh, pr uh, participate in the muta, musta'jara. Musta'jara in Arabic mean rental, a rented women. Muta is considered as a kind of rental because, in general, man basic aim of this kind of marriage. I quote, "This is not marriage." is sexual enjoyment of the women but the muslim remember they are calling it here now marriage i mean what kind of cult this cult call renting a woman for sex is marriage what is the name of that cult give me the name which cult in the world will say to you you can rent a woman for sex and they agree it is rental and they agree that the purpose of it is just sex and yet you call it marriage And supposedly this Abdul, he is getting me busted. But in fact, he got his prophet busted. So look what happened. You're a prophet, forbid it, allow it, forbid it, allow it, forbid it, allow it, forbid it, allow it, forbid it, allow it. And I say, you're a prophet, never forbid it. Because the hadith you are saying to me that the prophet, he forbid it or let the Muslim goes, there's against it from the same book. It's the same strong hadith from the same reference. It says the prophet, he practice it 
during his lifetime and after his death the Muslims they practice it too nothing changed right Nami pay he wanna call me is he a Muslim is Mr. Nami a Muslim if he is a Muslim he can call me if he's not I'm not interested <coughs> and here you notice uh, how the Arab they got Muhammad busted in his time look I mean they are very logical I mean if imagine I am a prophet I come to you today in the morning and I say to you okay my followers you can have six uh, contract hire a woman hmm? then second day I come and I say oh this is forbidden so why you gave us this is why the Arab they were making fun of him look at this when the disbelievers began to bright to, to, to dried the matter of abrogation saying that one day Muhammad enjoined his companion to to one thing and then the second day the next day he forbid it so how this is a man can be a prophet of God you see I can accept if Muhammad uh, he is uh, abrogating a law given by God uh, a thousand years ago because this is does not fit for today but you make a law yesterday you change your mind a second after isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a fool and he is just playing games with those people and he he try things he make a law and then oh people don't like it start talking about me so now I'm going to change it right do we have any Muslim here would like to say something what is this how this is can be a prophet of God how this is can be considered from God you tell me any Muslim have an objection and now the Abdul he spoke about uh, money okay well people they come to my YouTube my friend and nobody have to pay a penny this is a free program what money you are talking about however I can show you that your prophet is a kind of a Pepsi Cola machine he will not even allow you to meet him without pain read carefully with me this is the Quran I did not make a verse from God's or claim that God he told me Christian Prince you cannot talk to those who want to listen to you unless they pay you first hmm if you don't like this translation we can change it for you what translation you like Hmm? You see all those Islamic translation nothing to do with the Christians. So you cannot say uh, Oh who you believe when you consult with the messenger of Allah in private spend something spend something In charity before your private consultation Well, nobody have to spend the penny to come here and listen to me and not only that I ask people to download my videos Is that correct guys? So why you are talking about money my friend? It's your prophet who made verses that women they give their vagina to him. Do you want me to show you? Have you ever heard of a God saying to his prophet, any woman she want to give her panty to you? Since when? And what does this have to do with God? Muhammad, he have already 13 wives. Why he need God to make such a verse for him? Is he short of women? Is he a guy who is single? He cannot find the women. Poor guy. So Allah wanted to give him a hand. He want to help him. The man already have a lot of women, sex slaves, th wives. Why he need more? Read carefully with me. And you tell me how this is can be a prophet of God. And what this have to do with God? Chapter 33, verse number 50. All of it is about who is allowed for Muhammad to have bang bang with him. Is that what God is about? And then in the top of that, look how funny it is. Muhammad, Allah, he said to Muhammad, Oh, Prophet, uh, you can have sex with your wives. Thank you. Thank you, Allah, for telling me. Or The guy already have 13 of them, and now you are telling him, now you can have sex with them? Don't you think it's too late? And what kind of God, he said to a man, you can have sex with your wives? I mean, is that like something new? 
If a man he cannot have sex with his wives, he will have sex with who? This is how silly the Quran. And then he continues saying, and the daughter of and the daughter and the daughter of etc. and the daughter of your all of those they can sleep with Muhammad. And then he go and he hit the uh, 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 the jackpot. He said, and any believing women who wish to dictate and look the Muslims they add her soul, her soul. Muhammad he will sleep with her soul. You could, you could, you could, this, is, this is very cute. The prophet will sleep with her soul. What do you mean he dictate her soul? What soul? She is dictating her private part. Hello? Any women who dictate herself to the prophet, in which way? To do what? It's about sex. Okay, what does this have to do with God? You tell me. How this is, an, is, is a business of God. Why Allah saying, and by the way, this is only a privilege for thee. Read carefully. Any women, and here they say they're with her. What with her? What with her? It says to if her. Yes, thank you. It's a continual verb to if her. And then he says, and this is only for thee and not for the believers. So Muhammad, he have a special privilege about his private part. Isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a scam? All cult leaders, they share one thing. They make a privilege for money, privilege for sex, privilege to take advantage of women who follow them. Why God, he make a privilege for Muhammad to have extra women to give themselves to him. And why that is not a privilege for all the Muslims? How that can be a privilege for a man who is here to serve God? What does this have to do with God? God who created this galaxy, look, look, you know, in the, at night, go and watch some videos about the space so you will understand what I'm talking about. This God who created all this massive universe, he is worried about the private part of Muhammad to make it happy. Muhammad already have 13 wives. Why he is making these verses for him as a privilege? Isn't it obvious that Muhammad is making fun of you? And not only that, Ibn al-Arabi, he said, if the prophet eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. So her husband, so the prophet, he can have her. Who want to get me busted and call me and I will make you read the reference with your own eyes? Any Muslim. Who is a Muslim when I say you are lying and he is willing to call me and I will make you read the reference and you translate in the front of everybody. You're a prophet. If his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately so the prophet can do bang bang with her. And this is exactly what he did with his own son wife, Zainab bin Tujash. He went to the house of Zainab. He found her alone. And the prophet of Allah, the decent man, he flirted with his own son wife. Imagine. And he said to her, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. Imagine. The Muslim, they say that the prophet was shy. The prophet was high ethical. The high ethical man, he go to his son house when the husband is not there and he flirt with the wife. And when the wife, when the husband come back, the wife, she said to her, obviously she is sleeping with him already. She is cheating her husband. She said to him, your father was here. <laughs> and he said this to me. What do you think? Any Muslim want to prove me wrong? Do we have any Muslim when I prove me wrong? Anyone? May they, may they. Who is a Muslim when I call me? That is Muhammad. 
So Muhammad allow one night stand, five minute stand, for he is a fake stand prophet, a one stand prophet, one night stand prophet. Even the heaven of Allah, all of it is sexual. All Islam is about sex. Sex and money. Any question from the Muslims? So look what will happen. After I hang up, Abdul will post in the text, he will say, oh, he, he muted me. We are welcoming you to call us, not only to post text. What are you talking about? Here we block people only if they go out of the topic or they say a bad language. You are more than welcome to refute me. Who want to do it? A privilege for the Prophet about sex. Hmm? This is what the privilege. If you search right now about uh, cult leaders, you will find that all cult leaders they share they share the same thing. They try to take advantage, sex, sexual advantage of the women from their from their uh, followers, money. Muhammad, he made verses in the Quran, the best of the booty for him, the best of the spoil for him, the fifth of every attack for him, it's privilege, only privilege for Muhammad, in the top of that, the privilege about sex. So Muhammad, he is doing a business. Islam for him is an investment. He is the founder. It's like he's a CEO of Islam. And because he owned more than 70% of Islam, so he will he have the right to get 70% of Islam. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you, the Prophet, when he die, he dies so poor. And even he borrow money from a Jew. When Muhammad, he died, there was no Jew. He killed them all. Uh, Nami, you want to call me? Okay, what is your name in Pal Talk, Nami? <clears throat> Give me your name. I will add you. Give me your name in Pal Talk, Nami. I will call you. <clears throat> Don't play games. Give me your name. Uh, here's a kid. Anyone? Nobody. All right. So guys, don't forget please to download the videos. I want to say thank you for all Muslims for helping us to expose Islam. For this is a stupid cult. And you know, I, for me, I find that Muhammad, he must be a true prophet because he knew a lot of things uh, will happen to us in the heaven uh, of Allah. Like, you know, as an example, uh, this. Which I found that uh, this is very amazing. I mean, how Muhammad he knew this, man. This is so good to be true. Look at this. Look, the Prophet of Allah, he have a special promises for us. I swear by Allah, there is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him, brother, to seventy-two two wives, from and two from the Huris. And 70 of his inheritance from the people of hell. Those are prostitutes. This is why they are in hell. And look what kind of women they are. All of whom will have desirable front passages. Any Muslim want to tell us what passages we are talking about? Who is the Muslim? Want to tell me what the passages, front passages we will have? Is that the nipples? Is that the breast? Is that the private part? What is that? And then Muhammad, he gave us a very important promise. And the male member that will never go soft. That's so good. He's calling me. Hold on, hold on. Let us see this guy. There's a Muslim that talked to me.
it's hard to believe, but it might be true. Sometimes crazy stuff happen. <clears throat> All right, let us see if this guy is calling me as he said. <coughs> I'm logging in, pal talk. Uh, this is the this is the mad the potato. Uh, his name is uh, Nader Ahmad, the guy who said that he's a prophet uh, uh, have sex with a goat. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a okay. Let us see this guy. I'm sure he is playing games, but let us see. No, we will lose nothing. There we go. He's not answering now. It's rejected. It says his the call is rejected. You see it? Rejected. All right. Let us call again one more time. I told you they are kids. All right. Let your dad, your dad call me, okay, kid? Bunch of kids. You see Sky? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, he did not answer. You hear the ring, right? We called him twice. Here we go. Let me show you. All right. We called him twice. He told me, let me call you. And I called him. And then, you know, look. Nothing new. Any Muslim? The screen is still not coming. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. Now the screen is coming, right? All right, now you can see it. You see, I called him twice. Don't tell me you are not seeing it now. Otherwise, uh, they will make me believe that Muhammad, he sent me a genie from the ball. You see it now? All right. And this is his name, Nami, Namimi, whatever, one, 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 one. All of them, they are heroes. After I finish my broadcast, you will see all the complaint in the, in the text. I wanted to call him. He is not letting me to talk to him. He's a coward. He don't want to talk to us. He block us, you know. If I wanted to know if a female circumcision is Islamic, absolutely it's Islamic. The best way to find out, you can search right now. Even the Muslim, they try to 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 make it uh, uh, to make it look nicer. But you will see that the Prophet he spoke about circumcision, and he spoke about uh, the two circumcision, <clears throat> which means the man he have to circumcise, and the women have to circumcise do you see it when the circumcised part passes the circumcised part we are talking about what sex between two man and the women correct do you see it when the circumcised part touch it the circumcised part so this is not something the Muslim they can say this is not Islamic this has happened after Muhammad he order and he they practice circumcision circumcision for women so the man is circumcised the women are circumcised
Do we have any Abdul? No, Muhammad never been circumcised. Never, never. Uh, uh, but uh, the Shia, they believe that the Muhammad and his family, they are born circumcised. Which is true, by the way. <laughs> I don't know about Aisha if she was circumcised or not. The Prophet he never took a selfie. To to be honest with you, I don't know. But uh, I don't know. I have no reference to claim. Do we have any uh, Muhammadan? Anyone? And this is the reason all of them they run away from debating me. Look how many we like all those who big mouth they have they, all of them they want to debate like David Wood, they want to debate someone is an American, don't speak Arabic, but they will never dare to come close to me and say hello. Silence me, show me. Hmm? For four thousand years. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Abdul. I can debate you, all of you, those guys who claim to be big names, by leaving my toes next to the microphone, not even my nose. My toes, and I will go to the kitchen. Actually, once I was debating Dr. Nabil Baikli and Imam Malik Saar, you can go and listen to the debate. I was doing my dishes. I thought the water will not be heard. At that time, I used to have a Bluetooth microphone, you know, and... Uh, uh, I was doing my dishes during the debate, but I, I was doing it like, you know, like you know like not uh, running strong water but people they heard it and they thought I am doing something in the bathroom but it was not the bathroom I, I was doing dishes I swear by Allah <laughs> and you should listen to that debate the, the the one who invited us for the debate he said to him so can we do another debate uh, next week they said no we cannot one one time one time disaster twice we die we lost our job already. Our career been destroyed. And those who speak Arabic in the text, because I see some, some people who speak Arabic, you can go and you can uh, watch my debate with uh, Imam uh, Hisham al-Husseini, and you will see what happened to this guy. So do we have any Abdul? Guys, we called him already and he never answered. Just come on. Don't tell me call him. Call him for what? We called him three times. Can you send the link, please, for what? The circumcision thing? Why do always ignore my request and comments? Nobody, I'm right here, and I know you saw my text. Stop being coward. Act. Open your Skype, and I will expose your lies. You see, true Islam. The true Islam is here. Your circumcised part is exposed in the chat because why you don't call me right now in pal talk, Mister True Islam? what's the problem and uh, if you cannot call me uh, uh, mr true islam uh, by the way true islam that any women who want to offer herself to a man for one night stand is halal this is the true islam is that correct why you don't call me true islam potato Any Abdul? True Islam is to do muta. True Islam that you can rent a woman. Here we go. We are showing everything in the screen. We are not making things up. This is the true Islam. Here we go. This is your Islamic website, alislam.org, the four pillars of, of, of muta. What you do, you rent a woman. Is that a true Islam or fake Islam? 
my friend just uh, search for uh, Sheikh uh, if you speak Arabic uh, yeah, Hisham al Husseini, uh, Christian Prince it's an ABN TV you can watch it true Islam right this is a true Islam this is Islam explained by Muslims not by me if and you know this guy this guy who claimed himself called himself true Islam Last time I show him the reference as usual. I show him reference from the, his, his Islamic uh, uh, scholar. They say scholars they lie. I agree. All Muslim scholars they lie because the scholars are the same as their prophet. If the scholars they lie, who are you? You are a Nigerian boy who do not know how to read your prophet name correctly. You don't even have a high school. So when you agree that the scholars of Islam are a bunch of liars. I will talk to you about what I can call you but I am not in your list okay no you can call me if you are not in my list here we go this why I'm calling you stop playing games <coughs> just to show you how they play games I'm calling you nanny answer please you see we have a live call going answer if you don't answer I'm going to block you see guys see how they play games okay what I would do I would do it one more time live on air in front of everybody hello hello yeah are you Christian Prince yes I'm Christian Prince oh, I will talk to you about what mute YouTube please are you Christian Prince yes can you mute you YouTube please or list can you mute okay, YouTube no, please you can't come up. I'm not in my list yes yeah. there we go this way I'm calling Stop calling Mute YouTube, mute, mute YouTube. All right. So, mute you, you. okay, you are live on YouTube now. Everybody can hear you. What do you want to say to us? Yes. Yes. A lady, can you mute YouTube, please? Because we hear ourselves twice. Mute YouTube. I'm calling you, Nanny. <laughs> Hold on. Let me text her. <clears throat> mute YouTube. I will text her to tell her mute YouTube. She have a delay in the sound. Uh -oh. Line is busy. Hello. Yes. Please mute YouTube. M mute YouTube or exit YouTube. Hello. Mute YouTube. Oh my God. Exit the page of YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why do you want to complain always about the Islam? Why are you insulting Islam and the Prophet? I want to know. Okay, I will answer. You can mute YouTube. Can you exit the page of YouTube? I'm answering. What the fuck? Is <laughs> A good Muslim woman. <laughs> you know why you are insulting Islam? I did not insult Islam. I'm just reading what is in the Islamic page. Where I insulted Islam. The Quran says the Prophet he liked to have sex with all women. Any women she can give herself to him. What I insult Islam. The Prophet he says you can do muta. I did not insult Islam. I read what he said. The Prophet he says you can rent a woman for one night stand. So if this is for you insult to Islam, then you are accusing your Prophet to be insulting you. Let her call her, call her again. I know what's wrong with this woman. Yeah. 
Let us call her again. I hope she is reading. I told her mute YouTube, exit YouTube, but All right, you hear me now? Hello? Yes, I can hear you now. All right. So you say to me why I'm insulting Islam, is that right? Yes. Well, Islam, okay, I, I did, did I call you any names? I did not. Islam called the Christian Najis, called them kuffar, called them dirty, called them pigs and monkeys, called them the worst of the creatures, called them liars, called them evil doers. So if I call you the same, is that okay? As the Quran call us, do you think this is nice? No. So why? Being, so why you are not upset? Why you're not upset that Quran is calling us all kind of names, and yet you are thinking that I'm insulting Islam, and you are saying to me why you are insulting Islam? Why your prophet he say that anyone is not a Muslim, he is a filthy, dirty creature? Do you think this is right to say? No. So, no, I don't think that's right, but... Okay, so you refuse the teaching of the religion, Prophet? No, religion is very sensitive. No, but, but do you, are, you, are you agreeing that the Prophet is not a good man? Because he is saying that? Because you said this is not right. I do agree. Because human being, insulting human being is not good for anybody. Well, thank it's you very much. Okay, so, so here we are not insulting anyway, anyone. Here we go. I'm speaking to you. I'm not calling your name. But you saying Muhammad was like that Mut yeah, he because, okay, because, he because he is blah, a, blah, blah, blah. no no That's, you see yeah th this is not insult I'm saying who he is when a man he make a you just say it you just say it that the one who says that a human being is filthy dirty this is not right so you are doing the same to Muhammad you are insulting Muhammad you just say that Muhammad is a liar because Muhammad he say in the Quran that Allah told him that this is a chapter 9 verse number 28 and the verse in the screen so you know, Quran was you know Quran was Corrupted many times after the Muhammad. Muhammad doesn't go any Quran. You know that. Muhammad okay, so the Quran so he, is corrupted he, many times. Okay, how I know? Maybe, maybe some other people added a false first. Okay, no problem, no that, problem. Okay, I will, I will go. With, I will go. I will go with you. Okay, let us assume that the Quran is corrupted many times. But now, do you have the correct version of the Quran so I can judge Muhammad by the correct one? All what I have in front of me is Muhammad saying that his God said to him that the Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas are a bunch of filthy people and they are worst of the creatures and they are evil doers and they are pigs and monkeys and they are not allowed even to get a close from the city of Mecca and Medina. And you agree that this is not right. So what we have yes, between I our hands, okay, so what we have in front of our, how, how I know if this is what Muhammad said or not, the Muslim, they say that this is the true Quran, what I will do now. But if you don't know what to do, just keep silent and no, don't I cannot keep my silence. I cannot, need no, you, no, okay? lady, I cannot keep silence because we have to defend the, the, the human rights. You know, you should, you, you yourself, you should defend the one who is abusing, uh, you know, like if you, you are the one who said, okay, why you don't keep your silence yourself? Why you don't say, okay, you know what? Uh, a Christian prince says something bad about Muhammad, I will keep my mouth silence. Why you are asking me to be silent when he is the one is calling me names and asking even the Muslims to kill me? But yet you want me to keep silence, not the opposite. I am the victim, I'm not the, I'm not the criminal. Muhammad he ordered the Muslims in chapter 9, verse 29, to kill all the Christians and the Jews unless they pay money to survive. Is that right? I don't think so, that's true. No, that's not right. I never hear this history in my okay, life. This is a chapter 9, verse number 29. Can you open the Quran from your side and read it for us, please? Actually, reading Quran from my side, where? I can read it. Okay. I can read Arabic actually. You can read in Arabic? Here we I go. I can't. Okay, here we go. Yes, I can't read. That's wonderful. I can't read Arabic. No problem. Oh, then we'll read for you in English. That's okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't shoot okay. me. Okay, okay. Don't shoot me. Thank God I'm not married. What's wrong? Take it easy, girl. I mean, what's wrong? You are very uh, hot blooded uh, women. Okay, oh. this is the link. Open it and read it for Yo. us. Open the yeah, link. This is the Quran. This is the Quran. This is the verse. Verse number 29. Read it. It says, Fight those who believe not in Allah nor the last days. Okay. So you're a prophet asking the That's Muslims. That's what is in the Bible. The Christian and Jew used to kill people. Men, men of those who, no, where, is, uh, where, Jesus I mean, says, where Jesus says go and kill people? Can you show me? Where? That's what's inside the history of Islam. No, Jesus says pray for those who curse you. You know? 
and uh, uh, you know those who uh, and pray for them, bless them. He didn't say kill them. That's what Jesus said. Where, but the Orthodox uh, Church and you know, Catholic the, they used to people, kill the men, people, men followers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When we judge, we judge the teaching of the one, the founder. The founder is what we talk about. Muhammad was a person killing, ordering to kill. Jesus did not order. If I am a drug dealer and I call myself a Christian prince, that does not make Jesus the drug dealer, correct? Okay. okay. So now your prophet is saying, you have to harm the Christians. Look at this hadith. I will show you this hadith. And you tell me, what do you think? Muhammad, he said, if you see a Christian in the street, if you see a Christian or a Jew, you have to humiliate him. You have to force him to walk in the sewage. What do you think about that? Is that a good ethic? Is that a good ethic? How can I believe that? How I can believe that? Actually, I can't. Well, here can't we go. You because of your natural anything. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm, sure, really I'm showing everything. What are you talking about? Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih. But it's not any. It, oh my God. Where? Where? It's Show a, me. Give we, me the number. Hadith number. And I will I find will, it by I will give you the link. Here we go. I will give you the link. Here we go. Go ahead. You read it for us. It's in English. Let it's in Arabic. Let me find. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh my God. Don't say, oh my God, so, oh okay, my, so, say, say, oh my Allah. It's not right to say, oh, oh my God. Haram. God and Allah, same word. No, no, you cannot say, Don't oh my God, because me. the Hindu, they say, oh my God. You Muslim, you say, oh my Allah. Allah and God is the same. I, I don't think. know. The Quran says no. The Quran says there's no God but Allah. So Allah is not just the word of God. That is the name. Arab. Huh? That's Arab people would be... That's Arab language. Okay, okay, same, I'm not okay, sure okay, it, but it's okay, okay. Oh my Allah, read the hadith for me. Go ahead. I gave you the hadith. Okay. Okay, read it. Let me, let me, let me type it on my computer, please. Hold second. Just a click at the link. The link will open. It's a magical thing. Just wait. Can you please be patient, a little bit? I am oh patient. I mean, I'm patient. Okay. Oh my, oh my Allah. <laughs> Oh, is it is it very hard? I'm to, trying. You are trying. Okay. The network is very hard. Just please hold a second. I'm trying still. Mm. Be before you click at the link, uh, say inshallah, okay. because if you don't say inshallah, the link will not open. It happened to me many times. I don't believe that. Like once I wanted to rob a bank and they, I could not do it because I forgot to say inshallah. Second time I did, I say inshallah, Allah. it was it worked. Hmm. But six to man, can you help me please? Open the link. Why you don't open the link? What's why Hello? it's very hard to open the link? Open the link. I'm trying to open it. My phone is packed already by this by your phone. You by are your using call, a very nice. So I can't open my phone. You are I'm using a very nice words. Okay. Hello. 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 But just please, I, yeah. I'm typing on my laptop. I'm checking so. Can you be patient a little bit or okay. I can take you can, other you can, you can search you can I'll search for Sahih Muslim hadith number two one six seven A. Sahih Muslim. I will I will copy the text for you, post it for you in Pal Talk. You can copy it and search on your phone. All right, I understand you are using your phone. It can be difficult sometime. Okay, good. Okay. The link again, Sahih Muslim, yes. Yeah. The Hey, Muslim. Two one six seven A. Yeah. So, what kind of name is this? Two sixteen seven. <coughs> Do you smoke? Do you smoke? Smoke what? I don't know. I'm just asking, do you smoke? Because no, in the no, heaven of Allah, Allah, He said, we will have whatever I wish. So there's some people, they are wishing to have marijuana, hashish, I don't know. So did you open the hate or not? What happened? Yeah. Okay. That, 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 hello? Okay, it says, it uh, says, the book of a greeting, it says, Chapter 12. Yes, the book of greetings. 
don't agree the Jews and the Christians the before they agree to you and when you meet them only of any of them yeah. force them in the road force them to go in the narrowest part of it what do you think about the ethic of the Prophet what do you think if you are walking in the street I, don't know. I can't judge him what do you mean you cannot judge him if you are walking in the street right now and you are coming in my face and what I do if I'm a Muslim and you are a Christian I have to push you in the sewage because you are not allowed to walk in the street like me you are not equal to me this is what the Prophet saying so what do you mean you cannot judge what do you did huh? you criminal what you did nothing just because he's a Christian is there any problem that you did no he's just saying don't don't agree the Jews and the Christian which means anyone is a Jew anyone is a Christian they huh? So their crime is just, we, we, no. Their crime behind this. No, 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 no. The crime is they are being Jews. But, but, lady, you are smart right. enough. Come on. It says greet Jews and the, and the Christian. They didn't say greet this guy, that guy. He said Jews, any Jews, Christians, any Christian. If you meet them in the street, you have to humiliate them. You have to insult them. You have to force them to walk in the sewage. Are you sure this hadith is uh, not corrected to? It is. This is because uh, of what you, I'm seeing here is violence. You know, violence. Okay, you know, uh, violence. Uh, by the way, by what, what, what's what's your name? What's your name? So I don't know what to call you. Uh, my name is Nami. Nami. Okay, Nami. Listen. It Nami. Says, okay, Nami. It says Sahih Muslim. Do you know what Sahih mean? Sahih mean yeah, correct. Maybe some kind of Arab language. No, no. Sahih. Yeah, it's an Arabic. It's, it's mean correct. So this is correct Muslim. So it's called correct for what reason? Because it's wrong? Why the Muslims how call it correct? How it could be correct? If Muhammad is the Umi, how you call Umi or Umi, I don't know. Umi couldn't read and write. Right, but Muhammad, Muhammad he can talk, right? The Muhammad he can talk. He did not write this. The Muslim, they wrote what the Prophet said. But he can forget something. But he can forget something, maybe. Sure, he, he can forget. That. As an example, Muhammad, he forgot a lot of things. He forgot to be nice. He forgot to be gentle. Uh -huh. He forgot to be honest. Even he cheated his wife. He forget everything. But this is not the topic now. Don't you say, say that he cheated wife. He okay, 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 hold on, hold on. What if I show no, you? He never cheated any of them. Okay, what if I show you the proof? What you will do? Me, I don't want to accept it anymore. It's oh, you will not accept it anyway. So you are not being honest now. It doesn't matter what I will show you. Won't accept it. So here we go. So you are not being honest. Show so me, so. show me. In hmm? Huh? There's a chapter in the Quran. It's called Chapter of At-Tahrim. You heard of it? Tahrim. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Okay. Yes, I think so. All right. Well, it's about the Oh, Allah, he said to Muhammad, why you are forbidding what Allah made lawful for you? Do you know what Allah made lawful for him? Yeah, Surat Limatu Harim. Uh -huh, Limatu Harim, that's wonderful. Here we go. Cha Harim chapter, chapter 66, chapter 66, verse number one. Yes. Okay, let us read together. Yes, okay, let, let us read together what this verse is talking about. All right? 66, verse number one. Okay, Here we go. Hold second. One second, please. My charge is going down. Just, just say, inshallah, the phone will be charged very fast. This is what I do always. Huh? Huh? Just, huh? Just, just, just say, inshallah, the phone will be charged so fast. I do that all the time. Say, if you, say you, you, you should say, inshallah, not me, okay? I just did. You know, this is why my phone is charged. I'm just saying to you. Well, you sound like I say the simple word. Yeah, I say like even even like even me. my car. I don't even pay for my gas. I say, Inshallah, my car is full of gas. Read with me. The Prophet Allah, he says. Are you reading it? Oh, the Prophet. Are you idiot? Why do you why do you forbid what God has made lawful for you in the term of your your homemade Maria, Muhammad? He was having sex with it's the maid. Is it halal to have sex with the maid in Islam? Maid, what's maid? Maid, he have a maid. He have a servant. Her name is Mary. Your, oh. hus your husband, oh. your husband, your uh, husband. My Mary, Mary, the Ethiopian. Yeah, is she is his maid. Ethiopian? She is his maid. Oh my, I don't know. Why he is sleeping with her? If, you're, if your husband he brought you a maid, he can sleep with you and the maid in the same time. No way. Well, you're a prophet. He did that. Here we go. It's not me who's saying that. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is your scholar. And this is the Quran. And everybody see in the screen oh. what I'm reading. I'm not, I did not even say a word. This is what your, your reference saying. It's next to which surah, please? The surah number is what? Chapter 66, verse number one. 
And I gave, you the, I, I gave you the link. Let me give you the text. You can read it. Here we go. I will give you the text as it is. Yes, I'm finding, I'm finding belief hope. Okay, here we go. Let me give you a text. You can read it if you could not open the text. Here we go. This is the text. Read it. Oh, Prophet, why you forbid what God, what Allah, he made lawful for you? Be honest with me. Don't you like to have, don't you like to have someone to help you like your, your husband when I sleep with you and you are alone? You, you know, the maid can help you. Yeah, sure. So you, you can help me. Yeah, you know, you and your husband, you, you know, your husband, he have like two, three, four wives and the maids, he sleep with all the maids. He will have four wives and each one of them, she have maybe maid mm -hmm. or two. And the husband, he sleep with you and all your the other wives and all the maids. What do you think about this in Islam? Are you sure you, this hadith is correct? Are this Quran is correct? Uh, well, you know, you are saying to me, are you sure? This is your Muslim website, and this is your Muslim scholar, and this is your Quran, and this is your... Yeah, I love you. Yeah, I love you. Now, this is not this, I think. No, chapter 66, verse number one. At tahrim not the Talaq. I think it's Tahreem. Yeah, I love you. Lima Tuharimu. Hmm. Laha. I don't know how to tell you. Ya ayyuhal nabiyyu lima tuharim ma ahalaka Allah. MashaAllah, your Arabic like, is like. MashaAllah, your Arabic is like mine. You know, my Arabic is very horrible. Let me read it for you. Ya ayyuhal nabiyyu lima tuharim ma ahalallahu laka tabtaghi mardaka azwajaka wallahu ghafurun rahim. Okay, so forget about reading Arabic. I know your Arabic is, is horrible, like mine. But this is not the issue now. Read. It says the Prophet was sleeping with his maid. What kind of a prophet? He sleep with the maid. Not only Maria. he sleep with the maid, he slept with her in the bed of his wife. So you go home, you find your husband in the with the maid in with your Hafsa. bed. Yeah, yeah. Hafsa, she got him busted. Hafsa, she is big and beautiful. You know, she got him from his nose and she mm. start hitting him. And she said to him, "Shame on you! Shame on you, Muhammad! You do that." So he said, "Please let me go. Let me go. I will never do it again." That's what he did. He swear by Allah, he will never do it again. And then after a week or two, Muhammad, he, uh, you know, he got horny again. He want to sleep with the same maid. She is more beautiful than his wife. So he made this verse saying that Allah told me, why you are not sleeping with the maid? Allah made it lawful for you. Okay, where Allah, he made that lawful for Muhammad? Where in the Quran it says that it's lawful for Muhammad mm -hmm. to have sex with the maid? <laughs> I don't know. I can't explain this. It's because of I am not very... Okay, let me... I don't know about forget the... Forget about this. Forget about this. I want to give you an opportunity... You see, uh, forget about the negative things about Islam. I'm sick of it, really. I want you to tell me something positive about the Prophet. That he loves the orphans? Something positive, positive. You know what positive means? Something good mm -hmm. about him. Hmm. Like what? Something good about him, right? About him, yeah. Like what is good about Muhammad? He said, I'm the best of the human beings. That's best wonderful, of guys. If somebody, he said... The best about the prophet he said i am the best of a human being this is not this is not positive this is ugly because that's mean he's selfish he think he is the best there's nobody is the best what best do you think really there's a there's a human being is the best and there's a human being is the what does that mean this so you are trying to prove to me that muhammad is the best by saying him saying i am the best well i want to say the same okay i'm the best of a human being here we go how that can prove anything if somebody says to you i am because, the best of mankind because of his beat he beat he is what you is know, he's because uh, he used to kill he what? Orphans, orphans. He, he used to sleep he, with the orphans. Orphans, not kill. Yes, he used to eat a good way for all people. Where, where? He, okay, hold, hold on, hold on. He made orphans. He did not take care of the orphan. He was killing people, and that will make orphans. So how the person, he says, I want to take care of the orphans. You're a prophet. He killed the parents, and he take the children as slaves. <laughs> Is that correct? No, it's not correct. Really. Okay, let us, let us see if this is true or not. Uh, here we go. This is a true story. Okay, okay here we go. This okay. This this is the tr true story. You're a prophet. He attacked Bani Mustalib, and he uh, he took he took their kids as Please, slaves. Uh, Christian Prince. Mm. Hold second. I'm not I'm not scholar. I don't know about the Islam well. Mm. But I'm trying to convert Islam. I was trying to convert Islam because I hear a lot of good things about Islam. Mm. So, but so you are not a Muslim yet? So I found a text. I don't know. What do you mean you are not? Aren't you born from a Muslim family? I don't know, but yeah. 
Okay, you are born from a Muslim family, and now you are not sure if it's not. Here we go. Let me. I'm showing you now. The Prophet, he attacked the. No, people. no, no. Okay, hold on. The Prophet, he attacked the family, okay. the tribe. He 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 took the women uh -huh, as slaves, uh -huh. and he took the childrens, the babies, as slaves. Here we go. Read it. This is your source, and this is Sahih. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Okay. He took the kids. I don't trust any source of faith. So how you want? How you say you are a because Muslim? Okay, okay, hold on. How you say I'm a Muslim? And you wanna, how you want to follow Islam if there is no correct source of Islam? The Quran you told me it's corrupt. The Hadith is corrupt. So you are saying to me, I want to believe in a corrupt religion has no true books, and I want to follow it. How you can do that? Everybody heard you saying the Quran is corrupt. The hadith is corrupt, but you want to stay as a Muslim. How you can be a Muslim if the Quran and the hadith? So what is the book you want to follow? Yellow pages? Mickey Mouse? Where you will get your guidance for from? What the point of following believing in a, in a religion, but you don't have an accurate book, neither an accurate source. So how you can know what this religion is about? Are you there? Are you thinking? Everything is corrupt. I agree with you. Quran is corrupt. Hadith is corrupt. The Prophet is corrupt. Allah is corrupt. Yet she want to be a Muslim. She want to stay as a Muslim. But just because her parents are Muslims. I mean, that's not smart. Are you there? Her line is still open. I don't know what happened to her. Did you decide to leave Islam? Nani, are you there? Let your sister or your mother speak to me. Hello? And the, the line is still going, so I don't, she did not hang up yet. So I'm not sure. Are you there? I don't want to hang up on her. Maybe we can save her from this cult. Yeah, but if her phone died, uh, the the call should hang up. Okay, let me hang up on you. You see, because it says here, still saying the call is going. You know, if you go here, you see. Do you see it? The call is still going. The timing is still going through. All right, I will hang up on her. Maybe I can call her back. Uh, if your phone died, you know, call me back. You're welcome. So, but look what, uh, you know, and this, uh, this is a nice conversation. The girl, she admitted that the Quran is not a trustworthy. It's changed many times. There's a lot of corruption. There's no Islamic resource we can trust. So how I can stay in a cult like this? How we can believe in it? Let's try to call her again. Oh, it says currently, I think maybe her maybe her phone maybe her phone died. Maybe. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim wanna wanna give it a try? No, no, she is. She don't. He, she is from a Muslim family. She is already a Muslim, but look like she is growing now, and she is thinking about this religion. You know, she is born of a Muslim family, but this is a, Islam is a crazy cult. It's not only a cult; it's a crazy cult. Who is a Muslim would like to call me?
And what do you want more from Muslims agreeing that Islam, the Quran is corrupt, the Hadith is corrupt. So how we can, and you know, when the Muslim, they say to us that this Hadith is rejected, this Hadith is da'if, this Hadith. Okay, so where is the source of Islam? How we can trust what is, what, what is right, what's wrong? Who is the one who would decide what is da'if? Somebody came uh, 1400 years after Muhammad and say this Hadith cannot be true. I mean, this is the most stupid argument ever. Any Muslim? How we can follow this cult? <clears throat> Anyone? And not only that, you know, Islam is a, is a not only a, a bad a cult, Islam is a racist cult. Islam teach us, uh, like a supremacist religion. To the point, Muhammad, he said, that Muslims are the best of mankind, and uh, because they are the best of mankind, they are allowed to enslave every human being and bring him and the chain around his neck. Do you see it? You are the best of people ever raised up for the benefit of mankind. Chapter 3, verse 110. Okay, when you hear this, you think, okay, for the benefit. By the way, it doesn't say the word benefit. It says the best of mankind. Between two brackets for the benefit. This is a fabrication. Okay, what the benefit? Let us see how the Muslim justify this benefit. They say the best of mankind are those who bring them and the chains around their neck. Look like she is back. Let us see. Give her a chance. Hello? Are you there, Nanny? My name is. Yeah, Nami, I told you, don't call me Nami. Well, your, your, your name in Pal Talk is Nani, so I, well, you call yourself Nani, I call you by what you call yourself. No, I don't. But you say, I, I told you that I'm not Nani, I'm using some other... Who cares stuff. what's your name now? Okay, I will call you whatever you want. Okay, you want. no, okay. I'm good. Just you like are Angel Jibril, no problem. Jibril, how are you doing? So now, did you how you want to be a Muslim, how you can be a Muslim, how you can stay as a Muslim, if you have no book to trust, which book you want to follow? You just to told follow, me. That to you just, to my own way. You, what? What? You follow what? To my own rules. I think so. I'm you, not, I don't want to do any violent things. Yeah, but okay. What this, is your book? What religion is, your, what, is not belonging what, to what, me. Okay, okay. Because I'm not Arab. Okay, where is the teaching of Muhammad? Where we can find the teaching of Muhammad? If you just say to me, the Quran is corrupt, the Hadith is corrupt. So how you can follow Muhammad if the teaching of Muhammad does not exist? He said, if you believe me, if you believe Allah and me and him, he said, on he, the day of okay, judgment. Hold on, hold on. He said, he said where? Uh, you, you need in Jannah, kind no, of. No, no, no. You, you just said, he said. You just said, he said. He said where? Where? Yes. Where? He said, he said, if, he, if you follow him, okay, where, where, you where? are okay, okay, okay. to and, the Jannah. Uh, Manny, listen. Where, where we can find he said that? Where he found, where he said that? Which book? I think inside the Quran. Okay, you just told me a second ago the Quran is corrupt. Yes, that's what he said. So okay. I don't so accept how you can, this. So how you can trust the Quran? I don't care about. How you can trust the corrupt Quran? I don't, to tell me what he said. I mean, I, I don't trust the Quran. I don't trust the Quran. But you just, but but you to just me, told me. You but you me just told me he said. How we can fight. Okay, how you can say he 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 said, but you don't trust what he said because you just told me you don't trust the Quran. But yes. you said to me, he said in you the Quran. Asked, okay. You asked me at the beginning. You, this way I'm asking you. You asked me Yes, I'm asking you. I'm trying to understand how you think. So I'm asking you a question. I'm answering your question. So I understand. I understand. And you uh, did answer the question. Thank you very much. You said the Quran is a corrupt book. 
I said to you, okay, how you can believe Muhammad? You said to me, he said, do this and that. I said, okay, where he said that? You said in the Quran. But in the beginning, you told me you don't trust the Quran. Yes. So how you trust the Quran, but you don't trust of the Quran? Of course, still, I don't trust the Quran. Still, I don't trust the Quran. You, you trust the Sira? You trust the Sira? You, you trust the Sira? The yeah? Sira is more horrible. The Sira says, Muhammad, he killed, he raped, he stole. Even the Muslims accuse him that he stole an underwear. But there's things that I still believe it. Yeah, but you know, okay, you told me you don't believe in the Quran. You believe in the Sirah. The Sirah say but Muhammad. But there's still Muhammad, things, Muhammad, he things used that, to that, I, that I accepted. What accepted? Who is Who accepted you? You accepted? There's a little, not more, about the theory of the okay, so, science so what and you are the beginning saying, of the what human you are saying to me, What you are saying to me, you are a person who do, uh, you go to do shopping. And you find a lot of things about Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Anything you don't like, you don't accept. And the things you like, you accept. So you, yeah. are, ma you are making your own Muhammad. Not, but I don't making uh, uh, my own Muhammad. Yeah, but, but you, I'm making because my you told own me, way. Because, told you told, you because you just told me you don't trust any book. But you are saying to me, of course. I, okay, of course, of course. So now you don't trust the book, but you want to take from that book which you don't trust something you like about Muhammad. Isn't it? This is a hypocrisy. No, no. Well, if the book is corrupt, oh, no, no, that's no, no, no. That a little bit about the Allah, about the existence of the God, the how this universe made. Uh, how the, uh, how, the, how, the, the how the universe is made? How universe is made according to Allah? Do you know? The orbit. What orbit? Orbit. You know orbit? No, I do not know orbit. I you know I, I have only the the maximum I get in elementary school. What is the orbit? What is that? Now, our solar system. And the planet, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, you know all this stuff, I think. I know, I, I did not go to school. You know it. But as I know, you know it. But as I know, the Quran says that Allah will shoot the shaitan if he try to go out of the orbit in his ass. Is that correct? That's not possible. It's in the no. Quran. Here we go. Not it's okay, okay, not okay, okay, open the Quran. With the orbit, me. Chapter orbit, 60. Orbit, 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 orbit and the Quran. Manny, Manny, orbit. Hold on, the Quran, chapter 67, yeah. verse number 5. It says Allah, He decorated the sky by the stars and He made them as a missile, missiles to shoot the shaitan in His ass. Read it. But can you find the Surah Yasin? Surah Yasin. No you know problem. Surah sure, sure, I know Yasin. I know Yasin is my friend. How can I, I don't find him? I will find okay, him. Okay, right read it. Read it. I don't. I, I don't know the exact the verse, but, oh, okay. but no, I know no problem. From... no problem. I will go to Yasin. But let, look, read with me here. There's a saying in chapter 67. Verse number five that Allah created the stars and he showed the, the shaitan in his ass if he tried to spy at Allah. That's what it is history. I don't think that's true exactly. What, but what is this? Fabricate, what? fabricate also. Okay, so now you are saying to me the Quran have a stupid lies and those there's no way Muhammad yes, said that. I right? do. Okay, I do. Okay, I, okay, do. I agree with yes. you. This is stupid. I mean, shaitan, how you can shaitan shoot shaitan in his ass by a star? The shaitan ass is very small. The star is so big; it's impossible. Correct? At the beginning, shaitan exists. I never seen shaitan. I never seen anyone who calls shaitan. I saw, I saw shaitan. I saw shaitan. There's a guy. He he told me he saw he he's a Muslim. He saw sh four shaitan every day. He, he's married to four women. He has four mother-in-law. He told me he saw shaitan every day four times. Now look at this. Your prophet said that shaitan. Have you seen it? He said by your eyes. I don't know. He this what you he have a picture or anything. Just don't tell me other history, okay? Okay, you, I, I, no, no, you don't me, have me, any witness. Me, me myself, I did not see shaitan, but Muhammad he saw shaitan and he so, and he commanded him to do good. Do you know that the prophet he was commanded by shaitan? Is that correct? By what? Shaitan he what? used he used to sit in the shoulders of the Muhammad and he drive him. He command him. Is that correct? Did I hear? Huh? God, this no, I don't know it. I never hear it now. Okay, here we go. Read, read with Muhammad. Yes, he you know he sit in the shoulders of Muhammad. He jump and he command him. Look at this. Look at this. And uh, uh, he, they said there's none among you, but he have attached devil to him. The companion they said Allah messenger you too. Thereupon he said yes, but Allah helps me against him, and he am safe from him from his hand. He does not command me, but for good. So your shaitan, your uh, uh, the prophet shaitan, he command the prophet to do good. Do you have a good shaitan who command you to do good? Manny, are you there? I don't have. 
Okay. Yes, but maybe those who believe in Shaitan and any still that. Yeah, but why? I don't believe why, why Muhammad, why Muhammad, angel or what? Okay, why Muhammad is saying that Shaitan command him? Who is the one who command Muhammad? Shaitan or Allah? Allah reveal maybe. But he is saying Shaitan. What do you think? He is maybe Shaitan on on. What? Do you think? Do you think the shaitan? Do you, do you think shaitan? Character, do you think? I think, do you think, I think, think I'm not sure, but yeah. But here it says that uh, uh, Allah He helped Muhammad against the shaitan, and shaitan He command Muhammad to do good. Like what? What the good command shaitan He give to Muhammad? Do you have example? Let's show me if you have example. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like what? To eat cake? But you are the one who uh, are to. Maybe, maybe to cheat the, the the wife on the wife. I mean, what the good what what the good command shaitan can give his shaitan. Since when shaitan is a good guy? Have you ever heard of a shaitan is a good guy? You other know about the shaitan, and I don't believe in shaitan is exist. I'm the Muhammad, not you me. Okay, you but believe, I'm a. You don't believe in shaitan is exist. Asking you, others who. Leave yes i don't thought something that I don't okay so you have a, you have a new religion okay that's interesting all right so what do you believe in then i don't and like no, i ask just you a new religion i follow by my own you you follow hey. by, by what by your heart but but muhammad he says i don't think you okay yes. but muhammad by he my said, own okay. yes my yeah. own way okay okay, okay. Uh, what is your education Check any other religion what is your okay. education what is your education chemical chemical uh, my that's... education uh, about school and Okay, that's good. So you go to school. That's wonderful. But do you know that yes. Muhammad, Muhammad, he said women are stupid. You mean school? You mean you mean school? Yeah. Oh my God, this guy is not hearing. Can you hear something? I am saying, are you educated? You go to school. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you know that Muhammad, he said that women are half a brain and they are stupid? Yes. Yes. Okay, why, 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 Muhammad? He said that women they have defect, defect in their religion and defect in their mind. Why he said they have deficiency? What do you think about that? Do you agree? Do you do you agree with Muhammad? Oh, do you agree? With, what? Hello. Hello. He loved women. And he, hello. And Muhammad he loved women to sleep Are with them. Muhammad he loved women to sleep with them. Yes, he sleep with them. That's that's uh, I know that. But I what I'm saying, he believed that they are half a brain. He said that they have. But I'm saying they are half half a brain. Do you agree that women is half a brain? How do you call it? Huh? A uh, man is above. Kind. Yeah, but this is not women is our inferior. You know, uh, this, this is not about above. You know, this is not what I'm talking about. He said that you have a defect in your mind. Do you agree that you have defect? No, I don't have. Well, Muhammad, no, he said you I have defect. Have. No, you do. Muhammad, he said that uh, you should. We should believe the prophet, sister. Come on, the prophet will be angry now. Allah will be angry. No, I'm telling you. That I don't care if he gets so, angry or okay, not. So I don't you, care. You don't care, that, business, you, don't care you don't care that Allah get angry and the Prophet get angry? That's not nice. You are insulting the Prophet now. So that's not nice. You know, the the, the the Abdul will be angry. Listen, if the Prophet he said that you have defect, the Prophet don't well, lie. That's not nice. The Prophet he don't lie, sister. Come on. He said you have defect in your mind and you have to agree with that. No, I don't. Because it's not convincing to follow what the Muhammad said, okay? Okay, so you just de decide. You can have it by but, your own okay, way and okay, respect but, but, to the God. But you just agreed that Muhammad must be a liar because you didn't agree with his lies. You said he don't, you know, I don't have a defect, I'm fine. And Muhammad said you have a defect in your religion and you have defect in your mind. So Muhammad is a twice liar and you don't agree with him and you just admitted that. So I'm so happy for you that you left Islam. You what? You what I did? You just left Islam because you said you don't agree with Muhammad that you have a defect. You don't agree with of him. Course. Okay, so he's a liar. Yeah, though no, I don't I don't agree. He's a liar. He's he's lying about you. He's not a liar. He, what do you mean? I, I don't have a proof. He, he said I, no, 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 no. He said he said because he said that women they have defect in their mind and defect in their religion. And you said this is absolutely false. So Muhammad must be a false prophet. Do you agree that women it's false to say that women they have defects. I'm in their fine. Mind. 
I'm fine. I don't know about those people who were that age, but now I don't have any deficient while well, feed I mean or anything. I'm a full healthy Okay, which, which is side? I don't accept okay, that. So maybe, that's my okay. own way. Maybe you have a deficiency. So, but you, in, you don't have a way to insult. Okay, hold on. Oh. Maybe you have deficiency in the right side of your head and you do not know about it. The prophet, he's a scientist. How you uh huh, deficiency on my right, ha left hand. Yeah, then the prophet he's saying you have deficiency. So why you are saying he's wrong? You see, you are not showing respect to the prophet. He's my friend is watching. You are, you are not showing respect to my prophet Muhammad. You are insulting him now. You said to me you should not Hello. insult the prophet, and now you are saying that you have you. no defect, and the prophet is lying. And I don't agree with that. This is insult Hello. to me. You are insulting me. Yeah. Why you are insulting the prophet saying that he is not telling the truth and you have no defect? Hello? Okay. She have difficulty. Poor women. <laughs> the funny, she said to me, don't insult the prophet, and she is insulting him down and up and down. Every second she speaks, she's insulting her prophet. And yet she is saying to me, why you insult my prophet? Let us call her one more time. I think she will leave Islam maybe by the end of the coming week. Okay, she is not answering. Anyway, as you see, guys, I mean, what we can do? Here you notice how much confused the Muslims are. She agreed that the Quran is not a trustworthy book. It has a lot of fabrication. And this is the only solution for any Muslim he starts using his brain because Islam is a stupid cult and this is the only way to get away from it. Hello? Hello? Did you leave Islam? Hello. Manny? Hello? Yeah, hello. Hello. Do you yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now you say you, you said you don't have a deficiency in your brain. Your prophet saying you have deficiency in your brain. So who of you is telling the truth? I want to know. You want to know that I don't. Uh, no, because one of you is telling yeah, the truth. One I don't of, have a. You, okay, I, okay. Now I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can believe you in uh, what you are saying to me because this is the prophet. The prophet. There's no way he will lie. So why the prophet? He says women they have deficiency in their brain and they have deficiency in their religion. Why Muhammad is doing that? Do you think he have uh, he hate women maybe? What Muhammad did. It's none of my business. I'm telling you, what but do you don't insult this religion. Okay, what, That's what, my what, what point. Do you mean, okay? What do you mean? What do you mean? What your business? He's insulting you. He says you have deficiency in your brain. Because I don't anymore. So you are what? Not convincing to believe. What? Don't open many programs. Hello? Actually, uh, you know, I mean, this is very stupid to say women have a deficiency in their brain. Let a woman with short skirt walk in front of 10 men and let us see how many of them he will not lose his brain.
Yes, hello. 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 Yes. I was saying the prophet said that you have deficiency in the brain, but I think men they have deficiency in the brain. A man, like you see, a woman she walk in you know, a wear short skirt, and there's ten men sitting in the park. She walk, and everybody his eyes is right in her legs. Why? Because they lost their mind. They are half a brain. So why are your prophet saying that the women is the one have half a brain, but not the man? What do you think? Really. I'm telling you again, Christian Prince. Yeah. Muhammad and his and, and his wife and those please him. It's it, it not concern me anymore. I'm telling you again. Okay, so you don't respect Muhammad. You are saying to me Muhammad is a bad guy. He was a. Criminal. I do by my own way. Okay. What do you mean you do? He, he just said. So bad, what I'm you, here. You just said bad thing. You just said you just. The other religion. You just as agreed. You want to be respected. You okay? just agreed. Respect you just Muhammad agreed. And Allah. Uh, Tell the truth as is it, okay? Okay, Don't hold on. Okay. It. Okay, 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 I will go with you. Can you show me where Muhammad, he says, respect other religions? Where do you get this idea from? Respect other religions. Where do you get this from? I don't care. I'm not reading from what Muhammad wrote to you, but I'm... So you are not following you Muhammad, you are following who? Okay, listen, are you Buddha? Are you following Buddha or who? I mean, are, you are confusing me. You don't you don't care what Muhammad said, but you are saying to me we should respect other religion. Okay, which religion teaching you that? Oh, oh, I got I got one one verse in Surah Kaf. Not the Kaf, I think. Hmm. In Surah what? Surah uh, eighteen. Surah eighteen. You uh, said. Al Kafirun, Al Kafirun is respecting us. Al Kafirun is insulting. The the name is Al Kafirun. Do you know what Al Kafirun mean? The, but the second you say kafir, it's Infidel, an insult. So okay, so how you say, so how you say this is a verse about respecting others, but you call us kuffar? You are insulting me. Can I call you kuffar? If you don't believe it, <laughs> Christian, you call the Muslim kuffar. So that's the no, translation no, 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 of no, the language. No, no, we don't. Uh, no, 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 no. The Quran says the kuffar are no, 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 no. The kuffar are najis. Is that correct? Isn't it Muhammad? He says the kuffar are najis. I don't accept najis? that. Huh? Did Muhammad? Oh my God! You're not respecting any religion. Did Muhammad? Did, mu did Muhammad? Did the people? Did Muhammad? Say, where you want to be respected? Did, okay. Did Muhammad say that the kuffar yes. are not? Lakum dinakum, Mariyadin. No, he is, said lakum dinakum, no. Mariyadin. First of all, this. That's the reason. No, 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 no. He, he did not say. He did not say that. This is a lie. He, this is a lie. Muhammad here. He was talking to the to the people around him or refuse him and he have no answer for them and later when he got his army he did not say to them you have your religion you have mine he said either you take my religion or i will kill you he said what either you accept my religion or i will kill you the Quran in front of you here we go this is chapter 9 chapter 9 verse number 28 he says the pagan are nudges and clean so when you say somebody is a kuffar you are saying he's a pagan this is an insult number two you call him any clean. He is filthy. Number three, kill them wherever you find them. So what do you mean you have religion? You have, I have mine. I, don't, I think you don't hear more what I say to you. No, I no, do no. My, my own. I don't care about the Muhammad and Allah. But respect others. That's I what I'm going I don't, to tell I don't, you. Okay? I don't respect. respect okay, do you respect a guy who slept with six years old girl? Huh? Do you respect a man who sleeps with sex? Do you, do you respect a man who have sexual relationship with the children? No, I don't. Okay, Muhammad, he did marry Aisha at the age of six. So how you say to me, respect That's what religion. makes me upset. Okay, make you upset. That's <clears throat> wonderful. So how we can respect Muhammad? You're asking me to respect him, but he is sleeping with a child. How we can respect that? By right now, you can't do it anything. Just leave, leave it as it, and just no, do no, what. No, no, no. There's many people they believe. Do your business. No, there, there's many people believe in this criminal, and they think he's a good guy. And you are saying to me, well, we have to leave this criminal alone. He don't leave us alone. He sent his terrorists after us. The mujahid. But you don't need to share your message by violence and insulting. I'm just not. I'm not doing violence. I'm not. Them, so, so you are saying to me, if I say it is wrong to have sex you with the children, you say Abdul, donkey, or Abdul, no, Abdul, uh, any other. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Abdul is what your Quran call call all the Muslims. Abdul, Abdullah, 
and donkey it's your prophet who said in the Quran that the Christians and the Jews are like donkeys so why it's okay for you to call me a donkey <laughs> are you there just respect why? the people no, 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 I'm asking you, hold on. Why, why, why the Quran says in chapter 62 verse number 5 that the Christians and the Jews are the same as donkeys they carry books in the top of their head but they don't understand it this is the Quran so why your, 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 your prophet, he can say we are donkeys and we cannot say the same to the one who don't understand his book? I don't know. Huh? I can't explain this, but I ah, can't. You can't I can't explain so, it. So a second ago, you were saying the one who said the word donkey is insulting, but Muhammad and his religion and the Muslim, they can say to us, we are the same as donkeys. It's okay. So you can call me donkey. Why are you caring of Muhammad and Allah? So why are you always... Muhammad, Muhammad for me is the biggest donkey in the earth because if he is not a donkey he will not say you have a, a deficiency in the brain if he is not a donkey he will not don't have sex with the children I, I can insult anyone else I no, can insult I am, you I am, but I am, not, I am not I am, I am, I am, I am not insulting I am saying what I believe what I believe that Muhammad is a criminal Muhammad is a child molester I am not insulting I'm saying the truth if somebody is dirty I say he's dirty and you, and you? And you? What about me? Did somebody told you, that, you are? what? So what? What? What about me? Somebody told you I've been accused. You're donkey talk. You have to prove it. No problem. Like you can call me donkey, but you have I'm, to prove I'm it. You, you see, if if I am a donkey, you can call me a donkey. But if I am not, you have to prove it. Can you prove it? I can prove that Muhammad is a donkey, because Muhammad he claimed that he is a person who have knowledge, but yet he claimed that the sun set in the murky water. Not even donkeys will say that. <laughs> yes, Manny. Hello. Where is the sunset? Do you know? Where the sunset? Where is where know. where the sunset? Do you know? I think the, the sun has not. Like okay, the, the sun, according to Muhammad, the smart Muhammad, I will not call him donkey. You are the one who is calling him donkey. And this is not nice of you. You are saying that the one you cannot call somebody donkey, right? But look what Muhammad is said. He said the sun set in the murky water. If you have a student in the class and you are a teacher, and this is student, he insists that God told him that the sun set in the murky water. What you say to him? You tell me. It's work. It's what? No, it's not true. That's not true. Exactly. Okay. So, but, but this this is not even donkeys will say that. So we cannot say you are a donkey because donkeys are smarter than this. There's no donkey in the world will believe that the sun set in the murky water. So how Allah in the Quran says the sun set in murky water? Allah said that? Yeah, in the Quran, chapter 18, verse number 86. I don't know. I can't argue this. I can't do anything. All right, mate. Thank you very much for calling me. You are a nice girl. And I hope you will, you know, you can listen and uh, think carefully about what you are saying, because obviously you cannot defend Islam. Islam is a very bad cult. Insult women, insult your mother. Muhammad, even he said, when he said Najis, he insult women. Women, they are, they have a deficiency just because they have their period. Just because they are women. And no. that, is, that is an insult. No. Okay, you want me to prove it to you? What makes me... Okay, do you want me to prove it for you? Don't tell me no. Don't tell me no. Yes, you see, prove you, it. You are acting... Yes. Like, Okay, 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 here we go. He said the deficiency because they have their period. Here we go. Let me, show, let me find it for you. I will make you read it. Okay, here we go. Read it. Muhammad oh. saying that you have deficiency because you have your period. It's in the front of you. Guys, does it say? And let me let me give you the link. Here we go. I will give you the link in Pal Talk. And you read it. There's two reasons for deficiency. is your brain and your period. And this is the reason you will go to hell. Don't tell me now. Okay. Okay, so do you agree with that? Because you, have a, link. because you have a period, you will go to hell. No. Well, Muhammad, he said that. You have a lack I'm of... human being. Muhammad, you have a lack of... He said you have a lack of intellect, which means you have a lack of uh, 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 brain. You are, you are stupid. A period? Because of my menstruation cycle? Yes. That's what makes me very vitamin deficient? According to Muhammad, yes. Because of how, that... Because of that... How my period affects my brain... I don't know. I am a very, I mean, I have, very don't ask me. Don't anemia. ask me. No, no. 
No, no, he is not saying your period affect your brain. He's saying you have two deficiency. One of them, your brain, you are made with stupid brain, according to Muhammad. In the top of that, you have deficiency in the religion. The first one, deficiency in intellect. The second one, deficiency in, in, in your creation. So he's saying that there's two reasons will make you go to hell. Do you see it? Let me see it. I'm trying to read this. Mm. So you will go to hell. You will go to hell. He's asking you to make donation. Otherwise, you are going to go to heaven. You have to hell because you curse a lot and you have deficiency in your brain and uh, you have a lack of intellect. In the Talk top to of the hell when he is talking about this. Yeah, he says that. He said the most of you are the doers of the hellfire. Don't you see it? It's in front of you. Oh my god you don't have any proof just let me read it and i will answer it what do you mean i don't question. have any proof it's in the front of us in the screen everybody is laughing what are you talking about guys i don't have any proof <laughs> but i need what, what to read it fully. okay read it fully fully read it fully left and light who's holding you load lead it go ahead i'm, re I'm re listening you're talking too much yeah, what i would do i open I, I open youtube to talk Imagine I have a YouTube a mute. Is that what you want? That would be smart. Guys, the second episode, we will do mute YouTube. I will open YouTube and we will have one hour of silence. Deficient, difficult upon people processing the reason on inside the news. The woman among them said, What is the deficiency of their intro? And religion, he said, the testimony of the two women among you is like a testimony of my No, I don't accept this. You don't accept this? Are you, are you insulting the prophet, guys? Oh my, oh my, oh my Allah, she don't accept this. Okay, I will report you to the Allah. I, will, I, I don't care, I'm telling you again okay, and again. But Allah is listening, Allah is going now to, to, to send his uh, genie on you. Are you, come on, Allah is listening, you are insulting the prophet. You said, I don't accept this, this is an insult to the prophet. Why you don't show respect? If the prophet you say that you have deficiency in the brain, you have to accept. I don't Muslim. care. I'm telling you. Okay, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, but but before you go, like I don't have to accept. Buy, it. Okay, buy some candies, buy some stuff from the uh, super, supermarket because as you see, you're going to go to hell. You are a woman. What I can say? I mean, if you're sorry for you, the prophet said there is many reason for you to go to hell. One of them because you have a lack of intellect, and the other reason you have your period. That's what Muhammad said. You said you don't accept. I don't care if you accept or not. But still, you call yourself a Muslim, so this is very silly of you. Anyway, uh, lady, thank you for calling. And if you feel like you decide really to be serious, because what you are saying is not good for you, you are contradicting yourself. You are going in it's denial. You are, you are going in denial against your wish. You just keep saying, "I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this." And yet, yes, you defend. I Muhammad. have a right to do what I want. Okay, no, you don't have the right to do whatever you want, according to Muhammad. According to Muhammad, women have intel. They have less intellect, and they are not equal to a man. So you are either you believe that, that is upon Asha and uh, Zainab. They're no, but I'm not accepting anyone, not. anything of his rules. I'm not following his rules. So. Okay, so you don't follow his rules, but you call yourself a Muslim. Care. You don't follow his rules, but you call yourself a no. Muslim. Okay, you must be mental then. Don't call me again. <laughs> she don't follow his rules, but she call herself a Muslim. She don't like what Muhammad say, but she call herself a Muslim. She don't agree what Allah says, but she is a Muslim. I mean, is that a crazy day? Thank God I'm not married. You guys, you asked me why I'm not married until now? I mean, hello, I will go crazy. I will I will jump from the first floor. First floor, that will not make me die. I have to jump from the third floor at least. What's wrong? She agreed with me in everything. In the beginning, she refused. Then I show her the reference. And she keeps saying, she keeps saying, you have no proof. You have no proof. You have no proof. Okay, give me the proof. Then we show her the proof, and then she read the proof, and she said, "I agree. I don't agree with the proof. I don't agree with it." And then she said, "You talk too much." I do. Mean. Maybe this lady should not know that all those people are here because I'm talking, not because I'm not. If I stop talking, nobody will stay there. 
Hello. Oh, it's an insult for for us as male before insulting the female, because remember, you know, when you say women they have half a brain and you believe in this, you just agreed, and something will hurt you as a male, not only as a female, because you yourself, half of you, is coming from what it's called defect do you understand what i'm saying you and me we are born of a relationship between a male and female and we take our inheritance or a, let us say bloodline in the simple words the dna from the male and the female the female so if the female is defected that's mean you are defected too you know what i'm saying if you agree that women they have a defect that's mean you have a defect too if you agree that women they are stupid that's mean you are stupid too because half your dna is coming from that female which you are saying she is a stupid and that proven that is stupid of you to say such a stupid thing Muhammad is talking about male and female as if the male is coming from different galaxy and the female is different from different galaxy. But Eve herself, she is created from the same DNA of Adam. So how the same DNA, one can have defect and the other one does not have defect. That is foolishness. Stupidity is exist between both. There's a stupid, you know, people have a low IQ and there's people have high IQ, but this have nothing to do with gender. And I know there's many men, they want to believe that women are stupid, you know, they, they like to, to say that and Muslim women, they love this topic. Because they like to control women. A Muslim man, he feel like he's a rooster, and the women are around him like a bunch of a chicken, like a one man in the couch and four women, two two in the right and two in the left, and they are watching Mickey Mouse. All right. That is. Uh, uh, you know the foolishness of a man when he like to own many he feel like because he's a fool He feel he's feel he feel important. He is not confident enough. So he want to have more women The more women he can have the more he feel that he is important The more spoiled he is it's a fantasy and fantasy is coming from foolishness Not from reality So I hope that this girl who is suffering strongly from this cult already actually she left Islam already she said she don't believe in Muhammad she don't follow Muhammad she don't believe in the Quran all right anyway guys I think we have enough for today don't forget to download this video right away after I hang up because we don't keep our videos all right because Jibreel always he come and he take them Jibreel he target me he take my videos down so please download the video immediately after I finish and uh, I hope that's people who they are listening they are learning and uh, you know use your brain if you have one if you have one and I know how many of you have it because many of us decide not to use it for long and if you don't use it for long you lose it you know, we became people who just believe anything we heard, anything we see in TV. He said, she said. You know, in America, people, they listen to two stations, Fox News and uh, CNN. But both of them, they are in com competing about who will lie to you more. And you are the fruit and the victim of lies. Don't go about what people say. Investigate by yourself and be smart. All right? 
So I want to say thank you for being here, guys. May the Lord bless you. And I appreciate your support and uh, coming here and inviting your friends. Uh, I do my best to share and you do your best by downloading the videos so people they can hear either with their own ears and they can learn about this mad cult our purpose here is not to insult we are not insulting anyone we are refuting we are refusing insulting we fight insult we fight violence Islam is nothing but insult to mankind insult to your mother and my mother insult to humanity when you say women they have lack of deficiency they have a deficiency in their brain that is an insult to all mankind if women are 50 or maybe even more percent of mankind of, of, of our race of our kind as a human then what is the biggest insult in the world can be more than this when somebody says your mother she have a lack of lack of intelligence she have a deficiency in her brain who accept that that is disgusting that is rejected this is discrimination for women and the quran says you can beat them you can jail them in their rooms you can marry as many as you wish of them four of them at the same time i mean all kind of insult and that is not right so i want to say thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you and until we see you again if you like to learn more about islam feel free to get my books from amazon we have Amazon, uh, we have uh, our book in uh, Spanish, uh, we have it in uh, uh, Swedish, French, German, you name it. So feel free to read my books and uh, you know you can order them from any Amazon which belong to your country, which means Amazon Germany, Amazon France, Amazon whatever, all right? So feel free to get my books and this way you can educate yourself in the same time uh, you can uh, you know you can support what we do so thank you very much for being here and may the lord bless you all christ is lord islam is false and thank you very much take care